Hi, Alex here from Reveloper.com and welcome again to an exciting Firebase authentication tutorial. And in this one, we are going to talk about how you can sign out of Firebase. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let me just show you what we are going to build out today. And I have created a testing Firebase here, uh, another project, and I will just simply uh, build and run on my iPhone 10 simulator. Okay, and we are already signed in anonymously. And let me just go to our profile, user profile here, and here you can see a sign out button. So I will just click on that, or well, tap on that, and let us just log out. And the welcome screen will be presented and you can all again sign in anonymously. Pretty good stuff. And that is the whole logic of this app. So you can sign in with every uh, type of uh, sign in that Firebase provides. And of course you can sign out. So today we are going to talk about signing out of Firebase. And uh, without further too much uh, talk here, let me just jump into my Firebase authentication project and let's see what we need to do. Let's just first of all build and run and see if everything works as it should. And I believe we are already signed in. Yes, and we need to add a sign out button right here. So we just go to the user profile controller and we are going to add a navigation item button. So navigation item dot and we will choose the right button item equals to UI bar button item. And we will choose this with the string. So with the title and the title should be, let's say, and the style, if we uh, use the dot syntax, there are two ways, done and plain. Well, the done is uh, bolded, so I will choose that one. And the target, well, here we have our self because we are going to create an action, well, a selector on our UI view controller. So pound selector. And of course, we are going to add here, let's say, so let's create this and it will be, of course, again, an objective C function. So, and I would just paste that name in there. Okay. And now let's just print out here one, two, three. So we may just uh, be sure that this selector is actually called when we do tap on our right bar bottom item. So let's go back to our profile. Here we have sign out and indeed one, two, three is printed out. Okay. Now we want to sign out and it, uh, with the help of Firebase, it is pretty, pretty easy to do if you are, if you know what you are doing. So first of all, let's import uh, Firebase out. Okay, and now let us just sign out. So what? And as you can see here, it says it, it froze. Let me just go back there and start typing sign out and it froze an error. So we have to put it inside a, a, do, a, a do let and catch statement. A do let statement. So type in here do catch statement. And we are going to try to sign out here. And if we do get an error, so let error, then we are just simply going to print out our error. Pretty good stuff. And that is what you need to do. Well, this is the basics. We are going to uh, do a little bit of modification because this is uh, just the bare bones of it. But if you want to uh, add this code into a production uh, app, then you might want to add some more things too. So let's go here, let's sign out and nothing happened. Well, nothing 
actually happened that you can see. So let's go ahead and build and run again. And hopefully it has signed out. And now we will be presented with the welcome screen. And this is what I'm talking about. This is just the bare bones. So first of all, what we want to do here, and when we sign out, we want to present this welcome controller. So let's just construct it here. And uh, this will be our welcome controller. So now we actually want to present it inside the navigation controller. So, okay, and that will be a UI navigation controller with our root encoder of welcome controller. Okay, and now we want to present it. So. Let's uh, build and run again and sign in and then try to sign out again. Okay, let's sign in anonymously. It has succeeded. And now let us just sign out. Pretty good. Now let us just sign in again and let's see what actually happens inside our console. So we have signed in uh, with EEY. And let me just go back to the console and inside our authentication, let's tap on users. And here we have it, EEY. It has signed up uh, with uh, the identifier of anonymous. Pretty good stuff. Now, what else do we want to do? Well, first of all, we want to have a better error handling. So I will just type in here, error and I will just append the error here. Okay, and of course I want to show this to the user. So service.showAlert and um, I maybe I just want to, yeah, I will just choose the simple one and it will be on self and the style will be an alert and with the title and the message will be our errors, localized description. Now, that takes care of signing out, but it's a little awkward. Sometimes uh, users just accidentally tap on any button and this could be that sign out button too. So we want to double check if the user really wants to sign out. And for that, we are going to use a UI uh, 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 action sheet, UI alert controller that is an action sheet so uh, first of all we want to create our action so sign out to be consistent and the style will be uh, let's say destructive so we may get uh, that where well, the style of this sign out action will be destructive because it, this way it is displayed as a uh, with the color of red and the handler let's go back here we have our action and inside our action we want to execute all of the logout logic so I will just uh, cut that out and paste it inside here so now we have all of this in a sign out action uh, next up, we want to add this sign out action into a real alert controller. So, service dot and show alert. And I will choose now the second one. And that is because we want to add our actions for ourselves. So, uh, on self with the style, and this will be our actions sheet. And the title, we don't want to use any titles. We just want to pop up this sign out action. And of course, later on, we are going to add the console button too, but we will choose a nil for the title. And again, a nil for the message. And inside actions, for now, we are just going to type in our sign out action. Later on, we are going to get the console button there. And for the completion, uh, we are going to, well, what are we going to do? Well, for the completion, we are not going to use any completion here. So let me just uh, go back here a little bit. And for the completion, we are going to choose just nil. Okay, uh, that is it. Let us just build and run and see how this looks. This way we well, kind of um, avoid 
uh, accidentally tapping on the sign out button. So here we have our sign out, but we do, we cannot cancel this out. So we do want to add a cancel action. So let the style should be again canceled and the handler, well, nil, because it will uh, essentially dismiss it. So cancel action and we will append this to the array of our actions in our show alert function. So let's build and run again and see this console button appear. Let's click on sign out and here we have our console button. Pretty good stuff. Okay, and now let us just sign out. Great, it works. Let's sign in again. Let's sign out. Great, it works tremendously. Now, one thing, and that is the 1% that you really need to take to make a real polished app, and that is to add a HUD when we are signing in, or uh, maybe present a HUD whenever you have uh, fetching from a server or something like that. So for that, I'm going to use a GitHub repository and the name of the GitHub repository is J, uh, wait, JG Progress Hut. So I just copy this pod out and paste it into my pod file. So now we want to uh, install this pod. So go ahead and open up terminal here, terminal, and let me make this a little bigger here and uh, type in CD and a space because we are going to navigate to the root uh, folder of our Firebase uh, authentication project and this is it. And I just simply drag and drop it here and hit return. So we are inside our uh, Firebase authentication project. Okay, now we are going to install these pods. So install and let us just wait for it. It is, as you can see, installing uh, JG Progress HUD. And now we are able to use this Progress HUD. So let's go back into, let me just show you into our use, well, into our welcome controller. And here let's import JG, or oh, maybe rather yet, let's hit Command B so we get completions. And here it is, JG Progress HUD. And now let us construct a Progress HUD and I will just add it here. So let HUD uh, of type JG Progress HUD. And here we are going to add our HUD. Okay, the HUD's uh, style will be and I believe there is a light version, yes, uh, dark, console, destructive, extra light, light version. Okay, and now let us just return our HUD. But before we do that, let's uh, disable interaction and I believe disabling interaction, yeah, interaction type, block all touches. So type in HUD dot interaction type is block all touches. And uh, I have just seen that we need to construct the HUD with a style of light. Pretty good stuff. Now, what we want to do is when we handle our button tab, we want to start, uh, well, first of all, we want to add some text, text label, text, we want to add some text to our uh, HUD and that is okay with a capital A. And now we want to show our HUD. So HUD dot show and we will show it in our view. And of course it should be animated. Now that we do uh, show our HUD, we want to stop it. And for that, we are going to dismiss it inside. Let's see when we do get an error. So HUD dot dismiss and we are going to dismiss it animated true. And uh, uh, of course we are not going to dismiss it. Well, we could let, let us just dismiss it and maybe 
we need a self-reference here let's fix that and I just copy this out and if we did uh, sign in anonymously successfully we are just going to dismiss it again and that is it let's just try it out let me just select iPhone 10 and build and run again and we should see our HUD in action of course when we sign in so sign in anonymously there was the HUD and it has disappeared okay pretty good stuff let us just sign out now great in the next videos we are going to add more sign up and sign in methods most specifically we are going to start with Facebook so go ahead and check out the next episode in the series so I hope you enjoyed this one with signing in anonymously and creating all of the little details. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And I dare you to tap on that notification bell so you get notified when all of these awesome tutorials are released on our channel. So as usual, I will see you in the next one.